20, more than 20 years ago, we were on the threshold of the European Union. You know, you know all the reasons uh, what happened in our country. You probably just very fresh memories about this whole destructions and dissolutions of our country. And uh, of course, to that period, we lost uh, enormous time. You know, in the meantime, the other countries, you know, went far away. Now is the time, you know, to try to reconnect with, with, with Europe. And you know that we are, we are uh, pretty good in this uh, preparing, you know, activities uh, to, to become the member, probably at the end of this, uh, the, uh, the last of second decade of this century, you know. But who knows, we will see uh, what will happen, you know. Uh, besides, I will also to, to stress the, uh, the, the, the fact that uh, uh, to the, those period, you know, the practically parallel, you know, processes are activated on our continent, you know. We have a, a very good experiences with the country uh, which were uh, pretty open, you know, to all, uh, to say, to all the additional values of Europe. And on the other side, especially the countries of Western Balkans who were on the other side, you know. One side you have cooperation, on the other you have confrontation, you know. On one side you have openness, you know, on the other side you have closeness. Also, you know, uh, uh, to this period, you know, uh, uh, we have the prevailing, you know, globalization processes and, and very good results. On the other, you have localization, you know. So it's uh, many other, you know, controversies that appear. So the, the, this uh, final result and this, this discrepancy between developed and developing countries, it's a fine word for the failed nations, actually. Uh, practically, these uh, discrepancies is well founded and, and, and practically they are, are lean upon very concrete and precise, you know, misuse, misuse you know. Also, I think that be very, just to, to, to mention how to the result of all those processes, you know, we have a, one side, how to say, some sort of political order and political disorder. Then, you know, economic boom, economic bust, you know. So it's also, uh, if you compare the other, how to say, the other um, features, the other characteristic, you see that, uh, uh, in, uh, that uh, we lost, you know, it's also very important, this, uh, how to say, uh, technological, you know, pace. Uh, in the more critical time, in the last 30 years, technology practically uh, booming, you know, it's uh, a lot of very, very good results are appeared, and we, as a very well industrialized country, completely, you know, were out of this process in the, in the very critical moment. So it, it also we could use in our presentation, you know, also, also the, the, this fact when we try to analyze, of course, it's a lot, many other facts, but I don't want to bother with that, having in mind those differences that I try to, to, to mention. Also, we, have, we will have the problem, not only, not only Serbia, but actually the Western Balkans, you know, with the, with the fact that nowadays complete situation in the world, in the global world, is not so good, you know. Actually, we are the witnesses of many difficulties in this moment that we are approaching with. It's a turmoil, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a military conflicts, it's, a, it's a confessional tensions, you know. It's a, many other disappropriate things, this, this you well, well known, you know, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, equalities, you know, uh, so, um, homelessness, people, starvation, climate changes, you know, follow up uh, hazards, epidemic and pandemic, you know, outbursts, criminal and corruption, the deviations, trafficking, smugglings, wandering refugees, flows of asylum seekers, and so on and so on. So, you know, it is the complete image, the complete scene, you know, is not so, is, is not so appropriate, having in mind this very, very fine, very, very fine, how to say, uh, approach that we, could, uh, that we uh, should uh, realize and to try to modernize our, our country. And uh, of course, it is not possible, you know, uh, because as I mentioned, it's, uh, we, we lost actually a lot of times, but I suppose that's, that one energy ex still exists and we, uh, I suppose that we, at the end, we'll be successful, you know. Also, uh, I suppose that uh, the, the mention too uh, is also, to my opinion, important facts, you know. After 2000, during the term of, of Dr. Barroso, you know, after 2000, Eastern states, you know, practically went in EU. It's, it, it was uh, some sort, you know, how to say, of, uh, of, of, at that time, some sort of, uh, of uh, how to say, the meeting 
completely or previously two different systems, you know. In Eastern Europe, it was just the separate block. It was the, the another ideology, you know. It's a, the another value system, you know. It's a, the another political system, to, different attitudes toward market economy, you know. Also, uh, the problem with university and many the other areas with which our institute, public policy institute, are tackling with were completely different in comparison, you know, with the EU. So it's, it's the real, you know, you know, the problem. After this appear, you know, Western Balkans with more, more, how to say, this burdens of this uh, tragic past, especially in mind these uh, last decades, that we should, you know, try to find out some, how to say, some supporting, you know, supporting and joint energy, you know. But this is also the problem that, that exists a lot of asymmetries and disbalancing between, between Balkan states, you know. We are not in the same position, actually, if you compare, <coughs> co compare you know, the Western Balkans. And what is Western Balkans? It's also, this, to my opinion, it's also not an appropriate you know, uh, name for, for those countries, having in mind what is the Western Balkans without creation with Albania. They, this is Western Balkan states. So it's, uh, those differences are very, very important and crucial, and I suppose that we should work on on how to say, on building up to, to, to build capacity of our, our state and many other, of course, is very important institutional forms in our, in our, in our state. Uh, I suppose also maybe just to, 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 to add maybe some more facts because uh, I should be pretty short having in mind the, the time, that uh, to our country I think it's very important to, to take into account the, the role of the EU skeptics, you know, to try to analyze uh, how to say the value system, the reasons, the motives of those people and the people who prefer self-isolation, not how to connect and to be together, but how to be aside of all this process, effectively who oppose all these uh, efforts, you know, of our government and the majority of the people how to tackle with this. And uh, of course, especially uh, this appear in the last time completely unrealistic the another way or potential way of Serbia having in mind the orientation towards the East. We should be aware, I suppose, that we should very cautiously treat all, to my opinion, all those, you know, how to say, uh, divergences and to try to find out definitely to find out the right way how to go, go, to go further, you know. And of course, always just to, uh, to make the assessments via, via, via features, you know, via data. You know, and that, that to have a very objective, you know, image of our past. So uh, it's a, just, just a several only remarks for this introductory word. And now I will gi give the word to Jadanka Joksimovic, Minister in the Serbian government in charge with European integration.